hello people welcome back to our page okay let me quickly talk about something i want us to discuss here if you are an international student and you are looking for possibilities to immigrate abroad there is something i want you to know okay let me just go to the question someone reached out to me i just replied him now and i think it's very important for everybody who intend to migrate abroad he said he is a teacher somewhere in cameroon and he is earning a particular amount of money but um uh, on that money he equally uh, reiterate that his problems are two way bigger than the money he's earning which means that the money is not enough for him to satisfy like to take care of all his issues then he was asking me in my opinion what i think so i told him in my opinion since the money you are earning is not enough it's a good money i think very few people especially teachers in cameroon earn that amount of money so i told him in my opinion the first two things to do to overcome that is to get two side hustles yes getting side hustles will give you extra income to maybe target or tackle those problems then you will be able to save that was the first thing i told him and i'm equally telling everybody who is in the same position now or the same who is facing the same issue then the next question he said was um what was that what was that okay he said he he doesn't have enough money and where can he go to in my opinion so i told him if you want to go somewhere um i cannot know because countries in europe now or in the west they do not have the same requirement if you want for example if you want to go to the netherlands now eight million is not enough but you can use that eight million and you are in italy and any other places or and some other countries in europe but you cannot go to other places maybe like norway and uh, netherlands you understand so i told him that what he needs is an appointment and this is why i always insist that if you have problems book appointments get the knowledge you need and start from somewhere and he equally said that he doesn't know the type of visa to go for now he might be somewhere and maybe an agent is telling him that oh we will do work visa for you blah 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 like right now there is another student i'm going to show you guys in fact i will not show it because i don't want another thing yeah there is another student who just came to my inbox he told me and i checked i noticed that there is an agency charging that particular person 45,000 CFA francs just for agency fee then before they will do the process for her for 4 million now this is live story i have all the messages here now this is to tell you and he, she was like i want to work with you this is for canada now my concern is there are a lot of changes in canada at the end of the day will these people guarantee you a visa what if they don't guarantee you a visa your money is gone into the drain 45 million uh, i'm sorry 45,000 is for what i met the lady to understand that my consultation is 7,500, and they are charging 45,000. i don't know what they are charging for i cannot judge them so you are the only one to make decisions with your family and these people you understand 45,000 for consultation and maybe uh, their entire process 4 million well this is something you can do if you you pay someone to get admission so far for you like i always do i charge people for my offers but now i don't do it then when before you even reach this stage you have to make consultation which is seven five so i explain to you that this is what i want to do this is how much you are going to do at the end this is what you need to do and stuff like that when i give you the offer my job is over you look for your visa documents and you apply for your visa as simple as abc but now you have to pay somebody four million well i told her vividly i cannot judge i cannot make decisions for her let her make her decisions you understand so that it, tomorrow somebody will not say Milton said that now going back to this person this person also said he, he doesn't know the type of visa to apply for is a teacher which i told him that in this case you should apply for um a, a a a student visa because a student visa is the easiest visa but i cannot make decisions on the country you want to go and i made him understood that or to understand that various countries has a particular amount of money you need to have if you are your own sponsor 8 million CFA francs cannot take you to the Netherlands. Those who are watching my videos on YouTube can testify and know what I'm talking about. Then in other countries, it's, it varies. Like Germany, you need blocked account of 11,000 plus. So it's always good to gather knowledge, gain the knowledge, and always follow people that will teach you. I hope this will help somebody. Beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much, guys. Now, let me address this issue of proof of funds to study in Canada. Look, guys, Canada is a very tricky 
country when it comes to proof of funds. If you really want to get your visa approved, you have to pay attention to proof of funds. Now, I am explaining this because I've seen cases where people uh, said that they got a gift deed of $10,000, whereas there was no transaction to show that the money actually left one account to their account ten thousand dollars if there is no transaction like that you have no right to explain anything like that because there was nothing that was done again i've seen cases where people have lump sums in their account and they do not explain to the visa officer if you fail to explain the lump sums lump sums here i mean you have a deposit let's assume that maybe within the past five months you have been doing 200 300 200 400 500 200 300 deposits then out of a sudden in the next month you have been doing 900 1 million 1 1.2 1.3 1.5 million 2 million 3 million in the next month then the next month you are doing 3 million 3 million then the next month you did 200 200 200 200 that consistency is not stable so you have to be able to explain to the visa officer how how come it came about please if you do not explain this they are going to the money will be in your account the money might be your, your money but the visa officer will not be convinced and you are going to receive a rejection saying that we are not convinced you have enough money to take care of yourself while you study in Canada this is a very serious issue I'm telling you and many people will get the same issue now because living cost money has increased and a lot of people I do not know how they are going to do it but again explain yourself properly you arrange your documents properly anything about uh, uh cost of living or maybe proof of funds bank statement please make sure you attach them together and remember when you are compressing those documents they have to reduce in size so you have to put all of this into consideration now have you shared this video please share the video like the video so in this video i want to talk about one of the benefits that you should consider in case you want to live in Luxembourg. Now, for my new followers, welcome to our platform. And if you didn't know, Luxembourg is a country in Europe, or let me say in the EU. And also remember that Luxembourg is the richest country in Europe, if not one of them, but the richest. And it's also bordered by Belgium, Germany, and France. So this is something you need to put into consideration. Now, why you should consider living in Luxembourg? I want to talk about one of the reasons here. Then I will put many up on the YouTube channel so that you can follow up from there. One of the reasons you should consider is family benefits. I say family benefits because I want to talk about something that favors the child and the parents. Now, we are going to be looking at the child allowance and if a new child or let me say if you are given birth in Luxembourg, you should understand that your child or your children has to go across something or will undergo something they call child allowance from the government, all right? There is something called child allowance in Luxembourg, if you didn't know. Well, it's pretty common in every country. I do not know about the West, maybe Canada, US, I do not know, but it's common in Europe, I'm very certain. And again, you should put this into consideration. Also, if you are getting a new house in Luxembourg as a parent, know that the government somehow comes in in and help what i mean here is if you want to get a new house the government might give you some amount of money to support you so this is something which is not common everywhere but again it is common in luxembourg okay there are so many support benefits and again support for education not just for the child but also for adults for example the common university or famous one we call the university of luxembourg is charging internationals 200 euros some programs 400 euros and that is a big boost to tell you that the education system supports international and of course it's not just any type of education uh it's quality education because well-equipped laboratories and so many other amenities that are available we are not talking about the top-notch uh maybe professors now or the research uh, capacity we are only talking about re uh, the equipments that you will find in here they are not easy equipments, okay? And that way it makes your education easy. Another one I want to talk about is you should understand that as a couple, your tax rate in Luxembourg is going to be lower uh, more than that of single individuals. Yes, if you are a couple, married people, this is for you, okay? 
if you are in Luxembourg, your tax you are going to be paying is going to be lower. For those who are single, your tax will going, is going to be higher than that of couples. I hope you understand. Many of you may not know this, but please do some research again and you are going to see everything I'm saying. Thank you so much. Till we meet again in another episode.